Thank you for clicking and I hope you're doing well and in today's video we're going to be carrying out a little experiment and finding out just how loud these thunder snaps are. Now if you don't know what these are, these are classed as a firework um, for adults only and they're category F1. Now as I've said if you've not seen these before please go back on my channel and look for the review on these things. They're like your traditional fun snap. But around 10 times as loud, okay, and we're going to be seeing just how loud they are today. And we're going to be using an application that I downloaded off the Google Play Store. It's a decibels analyzer, and ultimately it measures sound. Now, I'm going to be putting these thunder snaps up against your traditional fun snaps. And I'm going to be throwing these down around 15 meters away from the actual application that I have downloaded on my phone that analyzes sound ultimately and this is to ensure that I do not get a false reading because for instance if I throw one down too close to the application it'll read a lot louder than it would from 15 meters away and the law um, measures decibels in terms of fireworks from 15 meters away so that's what we're doing and this application how accurate is it well I devised a test where I downloaded a lot of applications and then put them up against one another. I use my sound system, my hi-fi system at home to pump different decibels at different segregated times um, and then checked if they corresponded with the actual application that I downloaded and this one came out on top. Now I don't want to get too technical here people because this channel's about fun ultimately. So let's get outside and let's set this phone down and throw a few thunder snaps and fun snaps down. Okay guys, so let's get some thunder snaps here and conduct the experiment and see just how loud the thunder snap is. So as you can see, I've got my phone with the application on. You can see it going up and down there. Just a couple of things about the ambient reading of decibels. Um, you'll see that the needle is constantly on the move and that's due to the fact that it's never quiet. For instance, you know, Earth's day-to-day -day activities in terms of sound and people moving around, driving cars, birds humming, etc., um, is around 30. And for instance, if you sit next to a fridge freezer, the hum, the noise coming from the fridge freezer, reads about 40. So that's why it's constantly on the move here. Before I conduct the experiment, I'm going to zero this out. And I'm going to try and be as quiet as I can to not affect the sound reading. So I've got three thunder snaps here, and I'm going to be throwing three fun snaps from around 15 meters away. So before I conduct the experiment, I would appreciate it if you just clicked and subscribed, because this is a channel that will be doing reviews and general experiments in the future and not just fireworks so if you could click and subscribe i'd really appreciate it now i'm going to be quiet now as i zero this out and throw a fun snap down from 15 meters away Decibel reading of 52. So it seems to be reading them 
quite well in terms of decibels and it seems to be up and down let's just zero this out let's just try another one here Okay, that was actually 53 before I actually walked up to it. So it was on 53 um, before I bent down and then knocked the table. So in the 50s for your traditional fun snap. Okay, so let's try the big boys. It's time for the thunder snap. Just zero this out here. And that seems to be a good reading of 79. Let's zero this one out here again. That seemed a bit quieter, if you ask me. 66. So up and down in terms of sound, but I could hear that was quieter. Drop it in the comments, did you think that sounded quieter? Let's just do one more here. Let's just zero this out here. That sounded louder to me, but we'll see, it's froze on 72 was the reading that it froze on. So that was the maximum reading I got for the thunder snap. And look at the carnage guys. They definitely went off, but didn't explode. Um, these actually may be the ones that were the lower readings. See so how the casing is still intact. Okay guys, so here's your official reading and my summarization as to what were the loudest. Now, your traditional fun snaps. 53 was the first reading I got throwing the first one down. The second one I threw down was the peak for the fun snap and that was 55 decibels the third one was 52 and the fourth one was 53 so the peak there was 53 decibels now on to your thunder snap the big boy and the official readings that i got were 79 was the peak in terms of decibels and the ultimate sound that i achieved from my box of thunder snaps 66 was the second decibel reading and 72 was the third decibel reading now i bought these particular thunder snaps not so long back um so they're not that old now does age matter with the stuff that fuels them or specifically silver filament or concentrated ball down acid because ultimately that is what fuels the thunder snap people so yes these are considerably louder and thank you for watching the video um, by the way and i'd really appreciate it if you clicked and subscribed um, because this is a channel that will be doing other subjects reviews on remote control cars just general reviews on products um, that i can get my hands on basically and just having fun with fun experiments and i may conduct an experiment using um bull down um citric acid um, that fuels these to see if age actually affects the um, 
amount of explosive and the ambient noise coming from from them anyway please click and subscribe and take care thank you for watching